All right, well, tell me who you are. G'day, it's Stephen Blythe from Whanganui Atara, Wellington, Aotearoa, New Zealand. Aha, fascinating. All right, Stephen, you recently wrote a report for the nonprofit sector in New Zealand. Tell me what that's about. Okay, so as when in many countries, places, not for profits, are struggling a little bit with technology, we didn't really know exactly how they're doing, and I've gone back to some primary research surveys and so on and compiled it into a snapshot. I'm calling it a state of the play, and it covers uh, about six things, what we're aiming to do, uh, some broad frameworks like the triad, the, the technology pyramid, uh, how groups are faring across a range of uh, training, planning and so on, things like that. Then we look at a framework for uh, how we can address capacity building needs. And the final bit is uh, what actually capacity building is happening in New Zealand. Mm -hmm. And what were the surprising findings for you? Surprising ones? Uh, well, I guess one thing that happens is that in the averages, because a lot of people don't have plans, there are people doing awesome stuff. And I think that's the thing about research, that sometimes it blends things out. Uh, uh, the, the real, there's, a, there's a couple of very excellent case studies which talked about the real practicalities and the barriers that people go like a conference like this that we're at today somebody did a case study of two organisations that have been there they've gone back to the organisation very enthusiastic and then it just detailed bit by bit why they didn't achieve what they'd set out to do because of these barriers so um, I sort of surprised like, yeah those are some of those things yeah mm. and what's the most important finding? uh so when we talked about the framework for capacity to build and we looked at you need to have a good technical support, good advice, you need to be a, a, like a range of products uh, and services available, uh, you need training and support, but I think the thing that, and I've been talking to people about the results, is the notion of an enabling environment, like what's the thing in the environment that actually helps it because you can get all these things going well, like good, plenty, plentiful support, uh, good products, but if you don't have an environment which values effective ICT use, you kind of, what's the point? Mm -hmm. So I yep. think the notion of, and it's people have been very receptive to this notion of both leadership and an enabling environment. Yeah. And, and enabling, would I translate enabling environment to like an organizational culture? Yeah, yeah. Um, across organizations like with so many different players in this area, but actually having a bit of an idea about why we would be promoting uh, effective use of ICT. And I think, that, and I've picked up from some of the stuff that N10 has done around the notion of technology for achieving your mission mm -hmm. as a as sort of a catchphrase, it's a little tagline that helps get some unity amongst the whole uh, diversity of players. So, yeah, that, that influences, it seems a message about what we're trying to do. Yeah. Uh, and where can people get the report? Uh, you have to, oh gosh, it's not easy <laughs> because I've done it for a government department and it's family and community services. Okay. Um, and at the moment we haven't got it on a, on a website, but... Maybe, you, you maybe, I can, maybe I can do a little arm twisting and get it up at N10? I, I, well, I'll probably pub publish it on Scribd, okay. a Scribd document, and, sure. and it'll really look to me, um, but I have to, it's on my list of to-dos.